Alright, what's good everyone? So in the last video I showed you a few of the blood python breeding projects I started for this season. And I said in that video I'm going to have to start feeding up the females to push them into the ovulation. So today we're going to be feeding off higher collection today. So I'm going to be feeding the adult males, adult females, sub-adults, and then the females that have been breeding are going to get a second meal. But we'll get a bunch of animals in this video feeding. So, as you can see we have two levels of defrosted rats here. So this is the size they're all going to be getting. And like I said, the adult females that have been on breeding, especially the ones I know are going to go, I'll come back around and give them a second one. I'm not going to do that during the video because there's too many animals to feed for um, a single video, but let's get it. Alright, so we're going to start with some of the sub-adults first. I'm going to go big right off the back. Here is a female pied blood python so I don't know if she's going to take this I've only ever fed um the pies frozen thawed or pre-killed and I just leave it on the floor I usually don't um I've never seen them strike prey or anything like that before when you spend you know close to 50k on some blood pythons you definitely don't want to take a risk feeding live so let's see so that is the first time in a year and a half of raising this animal up. I've seen it all um, strike and wrap.
All right, so let's get some of these adult males fed. So we're gonna do some of the adult female short tails. This is the one that's been breeding to the Super Bowl hybrid.
All right, adult female blood pythons.
All right, so that's about it for this feeding video. But y'all already know what it is. Hate, comment, subscribe. Till next time. Later.